I think you'll be directed where to drop a person the next time. Yeah? Drop us are to be. Somebody can come and stop here and leave. Yeah? Yeah? So, what we do is you want to do Commander! Who's here? Kuna mtu 
hana uhusu wa kuuliza hongo lakini mambo ya production ya speed speed ya production ni kuchiru kidogo kwa sababu machine zilikuwa zimeharibika tumekepisha zingine na tumeagiza more printers in a few days this place will be very smart utakuwa una kuja hapa in 30 minutes umemalizwa na umeenda okay asante mheshimiwa kwa hilo kwa sababu acha tumekaa mimi nimeapply apply passport for a whole year one year yeah Niko 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 ya yeah, yeah, niko na documents zile wengine ambao niliapply nayo it was about two years zingine nikarudi nikamkokombea system imeisha ni apply tena nime apply tena na sasa hii naenda ni mwaka bado hakuna kitu cha kufanyika leo umekuja for eh yeah, nimekuja ndio ile huko ni yangu nimepeleka niangalie kama hiyo kio kwa sababu yangu imeshakuwa tayari we are fed up na ni mheshimiwa aki serikali tujaribu tusaidieni kwa hili we are trying our best that's why i'm coming here watu wanachukua passport wanataka kuna dog tafuta kazi huko nje watu wanafata ndafuta passport wanaenda hospitali watu wanataka passport wanaenda kufanya biashara kila kitu sasa mtu atakuja umeapply at least unataka for a month ama two months umepata passport yako unakalisha for a whole year kabisa we try our best we will reduce this to come to an end. just a few days ndio naona nataka hata kuingia hapa jana nilikuwa hapa kesho tabua hata kama ni weekend thank you so much paka mande paka siku ile hii mahali itakuwa safi hey mimi sana mheshimiwa tusaidie kwa ile habari ya tusaidie tusaidie na poleni sana this is not how you should be treated eh yenyewe not good this is your country treated in a better way so kidogo tu we streamline things Yeah. Yeah. Asante sana. Asante. 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 think uh, we were we, with you people here yesterday 
and uh, this morning I have returned and uh, as I said yesterday we are going to make it our business to come here almost every other day until the reforms and the changes we intend to see here are not only achieved but also sustained. So this morning I have uh, come back. When I came yesterday, there was a crowd of people who were hanging around this uh, place. And I'm happy to report uh, our officers have implemented the directives we gave yesterday that no member of the public is supposed to stay within this facility if they have no business with the functions being offered here. So I'm very happy that uh, our officers here, especially the law enforcement officers, have uh, implemented that decision. We have further directed that uh, no cars will also be allowed to remain stationary around here. And the only cars that will be allowed around here are cars that are dropping off passengers, whether members of staff or um, or even uh, visitors who are coming to this building. And I explained the reason yesterday, that the process which is going on here is a sensitive process. It must be, it must continue, it must proceed in a safe environment. And um, other than that, I think uh, inside here, as you can see, there is a lot of order. Every day is better than the previous day. I have witnessed much more order than I found here yesterday. Again, I thank our staff because they are the ones who are getting these uh, matters achieved. So today it's a bit more orderly. The crowds are not as they were yesterday. And even the members of the public themselves have told me two things. One, they have told me that the queues that are here are moving. And you know that already gives them confidence that they are being attended to. So even if someone may stay here for an hour or two, at least they can see work is being done. It's only that perhaps it's not being done as much as good as we want to see. They have told me therefore that the queues are moving and I have witnessed for myself the queues are moving. I have also uh, received feedback from members of the public that uh, our staff are very professional and courteous. They are speaking to them very courteously and very professionally. And for me, that is what I would like to hear every other day, not just here in Nyayo House. That is what I would want to hear about our officers across the country. That we treat the members of the public with respect and decorum. So uh, I think so far so good. However, I think we still have work to do. We still have work to do because even the kind of cues we are seeing here, we intend to minimize the numbers of people that are here. So the reform journey continues. We'll be making other policy uh, uh, pronouncements in the coming days. And for me, I think this is now a place I'll be reporting almost every other day. Okay, so I'm here now. I'll be here much later, perhaps, in the day. I'll be here every other day until we work together with my colleagues to ensure that this is a good place. In fact, now that the public perceptions about our services here have not been very good in the last few weeks, we have been challenged. All of us have been challenged. We want now to turn the story around. This place is going to be the most efficient service delivery point, not just in our ministry, but also we want to strive to be number one across the public sector. 
the crooks who were soliciting money here and pretending to be police officers, pretending to be, to be immigration officers. Many of them, or some of them, were also pretending to be assisting the applicants. As a policy measure, there are only three categories of people who can be assisted in this space. The first one are children of tender years. Underage children need to be accompanied and assisted. Not by a broker though, but by a member of staff. Who could be a police officer, can be a customer relations officer, immigration officer. So a child can be accompanied by a parent, for example. Number two, a sick person can be accompanied by a relative. Number three, a person living with disabilities can be accompanied by a person. All other people will be assisted by our officers once they are in this space. So nobody should come and pretend here they are providing assistance. To any person, our officers will assist everyone. We have even made, uh, uh, just this morning, we just uh, consulted with my colleagues here and we made even some adjustments going forward. We are going to create a special counter for lactating mothers, mothers with infants, as well as um, expectant mothers because you cannot have in a queue a mother who is breastfeeding or a mother who has a one-year-old who is uh, in a queue where adults are even for purposes of public health so we are making so many changes uh, and, 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 and for me I'm happy so far so good but uh, we will not drop our guard we will sustain this until it is okay until the public themselves tell us it is okay. Our production of passports is still below the demand. We will bring normalcy by first addressing the entire backlog. And once the backlog is uh, completely removed, we will stick to the directive that I gave in February, which is every applicant of a passport must receive it within seven working days and if it is an emergency they must receive their document their passport within 24 hours once we sustain that objective we will bring that timeline down again but we want to go step by step once we achieve the one week uh, timeline for the passport to be availed, we'll set a new target, and by that time we'll have acquired more equipment, more printers, and we'll have invested a little more in more personnel and more um, uh, facilities including computers and IT technology. So the long story is this, the journey that we have started here we are committed to complete it. Number two, although there is some progress, we are not yet there. Number three, the policy changes we have made here are going to be permanent. We are not going to have a rollback again. So going forward, it can only get better and no member of the public will be harassed or mistreated in this space. As you can see, these members of the public have told me none of them have been asked by anybody for a bribe today. And therefore, the zero tolerance to corruption is non-negotiable. The people who are hanging around there and harassing 
citizens asking for bribes will not return to the space and we'll keep the vigilance, we'll keep our intelligence alert because it is possible for them to relocate to some corner nearby here and start doing the same thing. So we are monitoring even telephone conversations that we suspect could be conversations that are of criminal intent. Nobody will be spared. Kuna wale bado wanafikiria ha hii ni sarakasi tu ni mambo kidogo kidogo ya PR hii kitu itaisha tutarudi ile maisha tumezoea. Mimi nataka kuwa hapa mbele yenu na mbele ya wakenya. Hakuna mtu atachukua hongo hapa tena. It is over. Nobody will come and do that monkey business here again. So these are permanent changes. And very soon, in a year, in two years, these departments will be rated the best departments across the country. And finally, finally, <laughs> this is not a Nyayo House affair only. We have immigration offices in Mombasa, in Kisumu, in Akuru, in Embu, and we are reopening the immigration office in Garissa. The same operation that we are doing here, we will extend it in those offices there. Because kuna wakora sasa, wakifukuzwa nyayo, wana, ni kama tu wale magaidi, wale bandits. Eh? Sasa wakifurushwa hapa, wanatafuta, wanaamia Mombasa huko, kufanya biashara ya ku kutafuta honga na kusumbua wananchi tutafuata hao kule kule embu kule garissa nakuru eldoret kisumu they have nowhere to hide it is over hiyo biashara mwisho umefika so they have to look for another business so mimi nawashukuru thank you very much next time ukisikia niko hapa you don't need to come because <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, would you give us a timeline yes. Yes. I said yesterday, 14 days from yesterday, based on hoping that again we don't have a breakdown or something. As economists say, all factors remaining constant. Uh, the reason why I cannot beyond that make any commitment is because I am waiting for the fresh additional equipment which again will sit down and I'll get advice on our capacity then I can make the pronouncement from there uh, how many we can do per day and how does the new equipment and new personnel help us to reduce the timelines further but I am persuaded from uh, mid this month or perhaps at the very latest at this month, we will now start the seven day um, um, production timeline. And then we will give it like another six months and try to reduce it further like that, like that, until hopefully in the near future, we have a 24 hour service for all passports of whatever type. Is the arrest remain for? Uh, as, 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 as By the yesterday we are expecting more. Some more arrest. Why don't you run out of food? We don't run out of food. 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 But as I have said, hakuna mtu atachukua hongo hapa tena. Na mahali wataenda wata kujificha tutawafuata huko. Hata wakienda immigration nyingine, hata wakienda kujificha, we will follow them there. And we mean business by the way. It's not a joke. We mean business. So we are several cases we are investigating. We hope to conclude those investigations very soon and we will arrest more people for sure. Asante, Asante. Asante. Asante.
We had two problems here, two challenges. One was the challenge of technology and production. That is what was hurting service delivery here. The second challenge was the challenge of corruption. And we don't want to mince our words about that. The only caveat we want to place is that the issues of bribery, solicitation, and corruption involved very few people here. And many of them are members of the public who are pretending to be our officers, but they are just brokers from town and criminals. Even among our staff, from the immigration, and also our staff from the National Police Service who work here to support the work going on here, the majority of them are doing a good job. The public is saying it. And we want to applaud these officers and these staff members for doing that. And we want to ask them to continue doing that. The few members of staff, the few officers who may be tempted to try and roll back what we have started here, we will make sure that they don't succeed. And the same energy, the same commitment, the same consistency we have employed in dealing with other long-standing security challenges will apply the same energy, the same vigor in the fight against cartels and corrupt people who have been trying to use their space to frustrate the people of Kenya. Kwa hivyo hii sio kazi ya siku moja. We are going to do a lot of changes. Part of it is infrastructure. We are going to have very nice banking halls, well furnished, with very courteous staff. We are going to increase the number of immigration officers. We are going to increase the number of printers. We are going to increase the number of uh, uh, public relations staff, customer service staff. We are going to uniform even our immigration officers and we are going even to improve on their capacity around public relations. Every public official should be a public relations officer of one kind or the other. They must treat the people of Kenya well and I'm very happy to be associated with the good work that is being done here by my colleagues and I will support them, I will intervene for them. I've already made some uh, success, as I said yesterday, in the area of budget, because budget has been a big issue, and uh, the other things that are outstanding, we will uh, address them as we go along. So I think uh, so far so good. You'll see me around again uh, soon. In case you hear anything that we need to know, please let us know. Mm. Either openly or confidentially. Let us know. We are still at the same pace. Uh, we are producing um, uh, about 1,700 a uh, day, 1,700 nights. And the reason why the production cannot change is because we have two equipment. So the factors are standard. So until when we get the additional printers, we expect the pace to remain the same. Number two, we are at the final end of processing additional staff. The Public Service Commission is doing the final uh, uh, procedures of interviews and then deployment. So until we get additional staff members, most likely the production is uh, going to be in the same level. And that's why we were estimating, going by the speed that we are at, 14 days from now, the backlog will be over. And going forward, we start now implementing the seven-day policy. And even in that policy, leave the room for emergencies, which should be not more than 24 hours. Some cases, it can be even the same day. Our dream as a ministry is that eventually we'll have a one-day service for the people of Kenya. You apply in the morning, and if everything is okay, within 24 hours, you have your document. It is possible, it's not impossible, but I think we need to travel some journey before we get there.
ni swali nzuri katika vile visa vya dharura kuna wale ambao ni wagonjwa ambao wanahitajika kwenda hospitali nje ya nchi ili kunusuru maisha yao hiyo ni kiwango hicho ni kiwango kimoja cha wale ambao ni tunachukua kama ni dharura cha pili kiwango kingine ni wale ambao ni wanafunzi wamepata nafasi za kwenda ugaibuni katika masomo ya ziada na tunachukua hiyo kuwa ni jambo la dharura kwa sababu kuna tarehe ambapo chuo ama ile shule inafunguliwa na lazima wafike wazipofika watapoteza ile nafasi jambo la tatu ni hilo umesema nafasi ya kazi kama mkenya ako na barua amepata kazi itakuwa ni hasara kwetu kama taifa kama kukosa cheti kutagarimu huyo mkenya kupoteza ile nafasi serikali inafanya juhudi kutafuta nafasi za kazi kwa wale ambao itawezekana kupata kazi hapa nchini lakini vile vile sera ya hii serikali ni kuwa na diaspora community ama kuwa na wakenya wengi ambao wamepata kazi katika nchi zingine kuchukua zile nafasi ili tukijumuisha na wale wamepata nafasi hapa tuwe na nafasi kwa watu wengi wa taifa letu so i want to make it clear that among cases that we consider urgent and emergency cases Kenyans who can show that they have a job contract and that job contract has a reporting date we will put them where we have put students who are reporting to colleges abroad and where we have put patients who are going for 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 medical treatment also public servants who are traveling uh, uh, you know or uh, and so forth and so on and they don't have passports or they want to renew passports that's also an emergency and we want to leave that discretion to our immigration uh, people i can see uh, you know we are all here the immigration people they know what constitutes an emergency but as i said yesterday in all those classes of emergency paying a bribe cannot be a basis of giving somebody priority acquisition of a passport because that was one of the problems with the Kenyans they were saying we understand the machines are broken we understand the printers are not enough but why is it that the person who pays some money to some crook will have the passport printed what has changed because if the printer is broken it's broken so paying a bribe cannot create priority for anyone to acquire passports